I'm Michelle, and I'm 59, and I'm a retired sales clerk. I guess I have to admit that I am a hoarder. Describing my house right now is in chaos. Almost every room is basically touched with the mess and other things that have just piled up. I know pretty much what I have, but it's just gotten out of hand. I'm Maurice, Michelle's husband. Most of the stuff in our house is dolls. I love to play Barbies. You know, they have different character dolls. And then they got the outfits, dresses, the shoes, the matching purses, you know. Is it really necessary to have every item available? The basement is totally covered with dolls. In the kids' rooms, I have a lot of storage of my dolls there, too. I'm Roxanne, and I'm Michelle's daughter. I'm most worried about how out of control my parents' house has become over the years. Every day there's another package in the mail or a box at the door. I would spend most of my paycheck on these items. I'm Jenny, I'm Michelle's mom. I've slept in the chair for a long time. I just give up, you know, I says, okay, then I won't bother, you know, I just won't go on a bed then. I'll just stay on that chair. She needs somebody to take care of her, at least be there to let her have a place to lay down at night. I mean, at least she can deserve that. Okay, dinner's ready, Mom. My daughter came in and said, well, if you don't do this, I'm going to call authorities, put my mother in a nursing home, because she felt I wasn't taking good care of her. What else can I do to get your attention? It was either that, or I threatened them never see the grandkids again. Now I'm heading downstairs. But I don't think my mom cares. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. I'm Dorothy Brenninger. I'm a professional organizing expert, and I specialize in hoarding. Here's the thing, we've got a crisis on our hands. We may have a situation where we have adult protective services coming in. Jenny, Michelle's mom, is going to be taken out of the home if this place isn't cleared up. We need to have a safe space for you, Jenny. Mom is sort of caged, literally. There's nowhere for mom to go except the reclining chair. Anything at this point is gonna be a good start. Got it. Let's start, let's start taking it. So the plan for today is to get into that living room, start pulling everything out, get it out onto the front lawn, and we're gonna start sorting immediately so that when Michelle comes out later, she can actually look at the dolls and make decisions. Well, welcome to your world of doll <laughs> land. Why don't you okay. stand over here? All righty. Okay. Work with me just on this table and give me an understanding of things that you're willing to give away. This one, I, 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 I think I want to keep. This one, keeper. That one, oh, keeper, this was one of a kind. Keeper, keeper. Do you think of your collecting as an addiction? Yeah, oh, definitely. Okay. We all, all my friends, we all say we're vinyl addicts. She's gotten rid of a few of the dolls, but there's still so much more that has to be let go. You went through 50 dolls just now. Uh-huh. 50. You've got 18,000. Yeah. Right? So what, do you want me to speed it up? <laughs> Don't need you to do anything. I just want you to yeah, know okay, that in the back of your mind. Yeah, OK. Your family would like for you to have a room. Adult Protective Services is in our picture. What I want to do is clear your bedroom as much as possible so that we can set you up to sleep in there. 
All right, so take that and show that to her. We'll see if she gets rid of anything. My Elvis? Elvis, yes, oh, that's staying. It's my Elvis. He stays. All right. And my other panda. Your she panda? stays. Mm -hmm. This panda, too? Yep, that stays, yeah. She wasn't throwing nothing away. How about this stuff? It's my panda bears. But do you need every panda bear? Yes, I do. As we started going, the breakdown happened immediately. Where are you going to put them? I don't give a crap. You're not right. taking any more. Those are new. What can we throw away to get in your room? Maurice was pressing her to get rid of, get rid of, get rid of. She just wouldn't give away one thing. Let's Everything get your room alone. cleaned out. You're going yeah, back in yeah. there. I know. This is right up your alley. This is for you. Maurice and Jenny were like this. You're, Every you're time just I try to say anything to you, on you on just on go on. off on another tangent. Things are changing around here. It's oh, going to yeah, be for the good. Oh, yeah, yeah, bull crap. I'm sick of this already. Everything's got to be your way, your way, your way. It's always been that way. We had to change the entire plan, turn the front bedroom into a storage unit so that we could take all of Jenny's stuff and put it into storage. So there's a really exciting part of the day where we brought in an auctioneer. And he assessed all of the dolls so that he could give an estimate to Maurice and Michelle. Your stuff is worth a lot of money. Conservatively, I would say a good auction estimate for everything that I've seen. You're looking at roughly around a half million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Just the condition of the stuff is, is awesome. When the auctioneer said it was worth a half a million dollars, my wife's legs buckled. <laughs> And mine too, I was just like, wow, oh my God. This is, this is unbelievable. <laughs> Suddenly, Maurice does not resent Michelle anymore. The relationship is changing. Still shaking and in shock about the amount of money that my dolls are worth, but I think I can part with them. And I just have to tell myself they're pieces of plastic. This was really difficult situation because none of this was trash. We had 500 bags of clutter that we were able to go through. We had boxes and boxes that we were able to pack up for them. It was just a conglomeration of difficult circumstances. Family, your house awaits you. Let's go look. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Holy cannoli. When they walked in, they were absolutely stunned. This is something else, eh? <laughs> yeah. What does this feel like, Michelle? It's wonderful. I had no idea it was going to be set up with my dolls, and it was just like going to doll heaven. Oh, Come on wow. In. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> I never dreamed this could happen. This is like winning a lottery. This is amazing. I, I would never have thought this was possible. <laughs> Just let it out. It's okay. Whoa. Oh, it's beautiful. When I walked in that room, I was so happy. Jenny, this is really emotional for you. Tell me what's going on for you. It means a lot to me. It was such a relief to me that I didn't have to call Adult Protective Services now, seeing that my grandma's room is set up like an actual room with a bed. Roxanne, could you come here, please? <laughs> I love you so much. I'm glad you did this for us. <laughs> come. You too, Grandma. I'm glad that you realized that that's what we were doing. Yeah, I know now. This family gave change a chance, and it worked. Hey, come on. They started with negativity, accusations, and blame, and they wound up with appreciation, respect, and love. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to a &E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.